Now, I'd like to talk about how SQL account fulfill the 21 days rule set by Custom Malaysia in delivery order. First, we can go to sales and delivery order and presuming we already key in a sample delivery order here on the 1st of April 2015 with one item and a unit price of course calculated a tax amount of 200 ringgit. Let's save this document without an invoice. Then the next thing we do is we can go to GSD, new GSD return as I've opened up here and there will be a special function where you can tick and once you do that when you just before you process it will give you a listing where it will show you all the delivery orders that has been 21 days or more listing out the date the company name as well as the aging of the uh, dates that is more than 21 days okay and there will be a tick and tick for you to choose whether you want to automate the delivery order to become an invoice for you now if you ch choose to take all of them then the system will automatically during generating of the new GST return when you press process and automatically the system will come out with a listing for you as well as it will calculate tax in the GST O3 form now to prove it if you look at my GST listing here you will be able to see a list of items in standard rated most of them will come from invoices but as you can see here there will be this delivery order that we just did with the 3333 ringgit and also a 200 ringgit tax that is not captured from invoice but actually captured from a delivery order now let's move forward say right now i'm gonna do an invoice and i've decided that i'm gonna transfer the invoice from the delivery order that i did earlier the 3333 with the 200 tax and I'm going to transfer it to an invoice and this invoice will only be done dated later in let's say July and I'm going to save it but if you recall our delivery order has already generated an invoice uh, a tax amount so in theory this invoice should not generate any more tax so as you can see here it generate from the delivery order earlier so if I do choose to go to GST return and do a new return one more time from July to September and I run process you will notice that in the GST listing now it will generate a report that will show you that the earlier DO which we have generated tax of 200 will now convert it to the invoice so there will be a minus GST 200 plus a GST 200 in invoice so a plus and minus will zero rise and therefore the GST 03 for the month of July and to September will not calculate the 200 ringgit tax.